Did you stick your thumb in it? I accidentally stuck my thumb in oh it. Oh my god. I have clean thumbs. Oh. Why would you do that? <laughs> this is so interesting. So Kristen and I are shooting this video, and because we're people, sometimes our personal life gets in our way. So like, I locked myself out of the house twice today. Kristen is having some anxiety happening. I chugged a bunch of caffeine, and Kristen took some medication. So Jen should be on the up. I, I should, should be, be on the down. And it should hopefully get us to a nice level, even keeled area. Yeah, you know me. Let's talk about what we're shooting, shooting today. today. Here's what we're shooting today. I came up with it a few hours ago. Okay, so someone suggested on the channel a few weeks ago that we try every cheese in Whole Foods. That is a lot of cheeses. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, it's, so, it's too many. But you know what's the thing? Good starting point. Mm -hmm. What if instead I tried to make the most expensive grilled cheese I could possibly make? And then you texted me and I went, yeah! And here we are. So I looked it up on YouTube because like this clearly, I know I'm not the People first have person. done this. We've done a variation on this years ago at the old job. Where we took all the cheeses at Trader Joe's and, and made, made like an ultimate grilled cheese. Yeah. But what I I decided to do is I took the most expensive cheeses at Whole Foods. Some of these are crazy. This one is $40. This is $40 of cheese. This one is $23. This is about $250 of the cheese. We are going to take every single one of these cheeses and put it in that fondue pot and then make some grilled cheese out of it. And hopefully it tastes delicious. It's a fun little experiment. Kitchen and Jorn style. Just so you guys know, we're not going to melt all of this cheese. That would be a waste. We're going to cut pieces off it because this is a lot of cheese. Should we start with the most expensive cheese? Yeah. Would you like to do the honors opening the most most expensive yeah. cheese. We're, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try all these cheeses before we put them in the fondue pot. We're not gonna do like a full rundown. We're either gonna call them good cheese or bad cheese. Bad cheese. And if it's like kind of just whatever, it'll be like, okay, cheese. <laughs> we'll be like, yeah, sure. This is Eve Malm's Bon de Poitou. I could not tell you. I have, I learned nothing ah, about this. Bon de Poitou. I don't know why it's $40. It's aged goat cheese from France. I don't know why I said it like that. Sorry, France. It's okay. France is gonna be They're fine. fine. They yeah. don't need you to apologize to them. They don't. Ooh, this Ooh. is interesting. Cut off a little bit. Oh, it's creamy. It, it's pungent. All right, let's try this cheese. This cheese. Wow, it's delicious. Wow, that's that's really good. That's, that's, that's $40 cheese right there, and there's a reason for it. You can tell it's aged. All right, that is a good cheese. It's a little funky. It's kind of like, it's a sharper brie. All right, good cheese? Good cheese. Good cheese. I was like, Brie, does Brie want to try the cheese? Can we try the cheese? Okay, try this. Careful with it. Oh my God. Sorry. What do you think? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Tangy. It has a tang, it has a funk, it has a... It has a little, so how's your cousin? Now, like, you know, what's, what's going on? I'm gonna leave. I made a Jen <laughs> sandwich. Can you eat the rind? I eat rind all the time. So we're gonna <laughs> put the first cheese in the thing. Get in here, girl. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna have to keep an eye on it. I'm gonna keep it, you know, I gotta get, I gotta get a, I gotta get a, um... You leaving the video? Where I, are you going? No, I, we, I, I gotta get a wooden spoon so I can stir. Let's do the next most expensive cheese. The Harborson Presto Prosecco Rosé. Special edition cheese washed with Prosecco Rosé. It was dirty. <laughs> Prosecco does make me a dirty girl, I get it. Are you checking yourself out again? What's up, cutie? <laughs> The rind. Oh, the rind. She looks like a piece of bread. She does. Oh, whoa! Ooh. Here, I'll make for you. <gasps> Look how creamy this is. I'm gonna eat this part. That is strong cheese. Ooh, that's intense. <laughs> that's really intense. That's a barn raiser. Anyway, good cheese. Yes. Yes, I mean, it's a good, it really. Listen, it's certainly expensive. <laughs> All right. My sinus has tasted it. <laughs> if you make this cheese and you're watching this and you're mad that I'm turning your cheese into grilled cheese, you should know that I'm sorry, but also I'm not that sorry. Okay, put that in there. Look at that. It's like, it's literally like yogurt. All right. Cheese num number two. It's like a tangy yogurt. La Ure. It's a three milk soft ripened cheese. It has like some medieval guys on the front. That's how you know it's real. <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, but before Martin Luther like actually pounded the 95 theses on the door to start the press, and Reformation, there was basically nothing to do but make cheese and wear silly outfits. That's cool. So like this is really historically emblematic of that era. It looks like brain. What is going on? All right, brain cheese. Oh, it's so soft. Ooh. What an interesting texture. What an interesting life to be a cheese. Okay. Ooh. Oh my God. Wow. That's that also, is delicious. Also super sharp. Good cheese. Oh my God. That is delicious. Into the pot she goes. I think we should get more into the pot. Just like. I'll put a little bit more oh, in there. Oh, that, sure. that went into my skirt. <laughs> it's really getting along nicely with its brothers. Yeah, so it's goat cheesy. It has like a umami. It's like imagine the best goat cheese you've ever had. And it's shaped like a brain. Jealous? Of course you are. Welcome to Cheese Town. 
It's the Marin French Cheese Company. We have to move on. Cam and Bear. All these come like in their own little like. Like Pokeball. Yeah. Here's your bit of Camembert. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a lot milder than the other cheeses. A little thicker. Very good cheese though. It's still not as good as the brain cheese. No. I'm still thinking about that brain. It's good. Yeah, it's mild. This would be good with like fruit or, you know, quince paste. If you're a real cheese board head. Oh yeah. Into the pot you go. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like nothing right now. I mean, yeah, like, it is. This is a sweet grass dairy, green hill, soft ripened, double cream cow's milk cheese. This is a puck of sweet green, double ripened. Just when you think it's been ripened. <laughs> think again. Think again. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that knife just went right through. We try it. Ooh, really salty, and I like this one. Ooh, it's so salty. Yeah. It has a little sourness at the end. Yeah. This is a good cheese. This is a good cheese. I like hate to say it guys, but most of these are pretty good cheeses. Yeah. Oh, nothing will ever compare to my friend, the brain cheese. The brain cheese is really good. All right, into the pot with your siblings. I hope the rind cooks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not a restaurant. <laughs> well, not yet. <laughs> We're in a ghost kitchen like Mr. Beast. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this pronunciation, forgive me. Briat Savarin, it's triple creme cow milk cheese. Again, a really fancy, cute little container. I'll be with you soon, brain cheese. <laughs> what is this? This is like a hat. Whoa. Ooh. It slid through. This it's is like a piece of cake. This is cheese in name only. This is basically frosting. This is truly the consistency of melted butter. Yeah. This is like very soft. This is definitely spreadable cheese. Ooh. Ooh. That's very sharp again. That is a stinky cheese. Sometimes things are stinky taste-wise and you're just like, mmm. I mean, I don't think it's a bad cheese. It's oh. an okay cheese. <laughs> we weren't crazy about it, but it's fine. I'm gonna put it in there. Okay. I love how I think the biggest piece of cheese we've put in so far is the one we've liked the least. I'm like gonna take all these cheeses home with me. So oh. don't worry. These are gonna be eaten. Well, you're going to a bachelorette party this yeah, weekend. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring you're a bunch of cheese. Yeah, you're going to a hangout bachelorette party this weekend. I think you have a need for cheese. Yeah, there's, oh, there's a need for cheese, all right. You can't have brain cheese though. That's fine. You that's mine. Piccolo, andante dairy. Oh, it's wet. <laughs> Why is it wet? <laughs> well, I think all cheese is wet, right? Oh, look at it. It's a lot more yellow than the other cheese that the oh. inside. It's a lot more crumbly texture-wise, too. I don't know what it looks like. Were you gonna say something kind of nasty? No, what? Do I always say things that are kind of nasty? No. I was gonna say it kind of, it sort of looks like whipped butter. I'll just take a little crumble. Whipped butter on a Okay. <laughs> that. Wait, is, this is actually really good. That's good. It's very sour. It's super crumbly. Yeah. It has a consistency of feta, but it looks like sunshine. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good cheese. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting a lot of rinds in there, and I'm getting really worried. Okay, I'm gonna take some rinds out. I remove the rind. Okay. My thing is like, is rind not food? Next, next cheese. Next cheese. Next cheese. Next cheese. What's the next cheese? This is the acapella andante dairy soft cheese, and it's green. This cheese looks like the countertop in like a spa. What happened to this cheese? It looks like that. Here you go. You try. Thanks. Okay. At first, I thought I didn't like it because it has a very strong flavor. The more I eat it, I actually kind of enjoy it. It kind of tastes like socks that went to college. Yeah. <laughs> I would say mm, below average cheese. It's, like, it's funky, but with a point of view. Yeah. <laughs> that one's not our fave. Into the pot she goes. We didn't like it. We didn't like it. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. The Vermont Creamery Bijou. It's gluten free. Tasting. It's mild, nutty, dense setter, wrinkled rind. Oh, you pair it with a Schwartz, a Belgian ale, a dried cherries, roasted hazelnuts. It looks like two little boobs. <laughs> Try one boob for now, though. Yeah. So it's, it's not a waste boob. Look at this little boob cake. She's so tiny. I hey, think girl. all cheese wedges should be tiny. How is it? Mm. This one is super, super tangy. It's very flavorful, very salty. I like it. It's good, though. It's very good. It's delicious. It's expensive. I regret to inform you that it's delicious. The $12 tiny cheese is unfortunately very good. I'm trying to clean off this knife. The fromage dauphinois. It's a black truffle cheese. Ooh, I'm gonna need some fiber later. Someone's gonna have to blend up some sticks for me. I'm just gonna eat them in a smoothie. I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> You threw in the towel with the quickness. I just, I can't do it. I will move states before I have to open that cheese. <laughs> Try it. You're not gonna like it. Yeah, that's too rich for me. Oh, this is the bad cheese. It's still going in though. Still going in though. Mm -hmm. Come here, truffle cheese. Get in there with your friends. Um, we're done with soft cheese. I we're can't. done with soft cheese. Everything else is hard. <laughs> <laughs> 
cave age through year. It does not have a label. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's cave age. Well, because it came from a wedge. Yeah. All right. Oh, look how beautiful it is. It's kind of nice to switch to a hard cheese. It I'm is. looking forward to the change in texture. I am too. I've got actually like, sink soft our cheeses. Teeth. Yeah, we can actually sink our teeth go. into these. Mm. I regret it though. Because I didn't like that. Oh, that tastes like butthole. Whoa. Mm. How would you describe that taste-wise? It's like a sock made of nickels. Yeah. And this cheese tastes too much like the cave. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> so this is organic and raptured cherry jubilee. It kind of also looks like a brain. Cheese with cherry in it. And it doesn't really have a label. Yes. How is this looking, by the way? It's looking like a bunch of melted cheese. Interesting. The cherry is actually pretty subtle, but it's definitely there. It comes in at the end. It's still mostly a cheese taste. Funky cherry. Ultimately, it's like an interesting taste. It's it's an okay cheese. It's an okay cheese. We didn't hate it. Yeah, they're sort of fighting with their <laughs> Get in there, Cherry Jubilee. That'd be a really interesting grilled cheese. I have a feeling this grilled cheese is gonna taste incredibly rich. Hopefully that's yummy. I think this is a soft cheese, I'm sorry. That's okay. Ev Mon Ovaly Sendry. It says aged goat cheese. It, it, like it looks aged. Structurally a mess. It's like falling apart at the seams. It looks creamy though. Okay, please be good. Please don't taste like butthole. Wow. It's funky, but it's very rich. There's something called vegetable ash in there. Oh. Cause I kind of get like a smokiness. It's like funky barbecue cheese. I think it's Dees. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, you know, it's sword fighting. Yeah. No, don't, you put sorry. that, you put okay, that rind in there. I, I will sorry. throw you into the pool. This cheese also doesn't have a label, but it is called Cypress Grove Lamb Chopper. What? I spilled cheese on myself. Your boobs look nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> don't worry. I always notice. <laughs> Please be delicious. If it's not delicious, I will be calling my lawyer. It might be a little tangy because I'm cutting out the same knife. Ooh. This is flavorful. I think it's kind of sour. Like kind of makes you want to <laughs> Kaylin made me change cutting boards because it was disgusting looking. And looked bad. It looked like a shoe print. Maybe just look at my boobs. You won't feel so bad anymore. It works for Jen. It does work for Jen. <laughs> Let's pop this bad boy. Into this bad girl. Into this bad. <laughs> okay, I show it. It's just a block, but we just got just give me the f cheese. <laughs> the sweet red grass fed cheddar. Is this the orangest cheese we have? I think every other cheese we've had has been like kind of a vague pale beige, like the color of like most baby nurseries now. You know. Take a little piece. Take a little piece. It's a strong flavor. You don't like it? It's really bitter. Oh, I love it. I don't like it very oh, much. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Get in the pot. <laughs> the 12 month old Manchego. I love Manchego. Manchego is so delicious. There's a three month age, a six month age, and a 12 month age. And I grabbed the 12 month age. It's the most developmentally advanced. Yeah. It can hold its head up. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I actually held my friend's baby when the baby was 24 hours old. I remember thinking like, this shouldn't be legal. Put that thing right back where it came from. from. This Manchego is bad. I'm going to be disappointed. Mmm. It's really umami. It's like Manchego! a- Manchego! That's really salty. Not really. No, it's not. It's, it's, like it's the, not the, salty. The flavors are mild. The mild cheese. Good cheese. Good cheese. There we go. Le Gruyere. Gruyere is actually delicious. It's what I use to make my Thanksgiving potatoes. You yummy. But you would know if you ever came to my house for Thanksgiving. I would definitely do that. Really? Well, yeah, but it's like if I didn't have parents that were like, come to Thanksgiving or we'll set ourselves on fire. <laughs> I don't want to eat Gruyere. I can tell you this is not going to be tasty. I mean, it is good, but it's not like good in this context. <laughs> it's going to be sour. It is sour. No. I don't dislike it. It's fine. Get in there. Two more cheeses. Clarina, 36 month Gouda. This has been aged for a year and a half. No, three years. <laughs> I love Gouda. It's very Gouda. Oh, I love it. I've had Gouda before, but that uh, one, I just wasn't love like loving Gouda. it. It's like, it's creamy, but it's subtle. And then it's like also like a, like a, a sharpness to it. A little bit more Gouda in there. Yeah, boop, boop, boop. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm, I, I started mixing it just to help some of the bigger pieces melt faster. We only have one cheese left too, which is great. This actually might be literally just enough for two sandwiches. Final cheese, the Jasper Hill Farm Bailey Hazen Blue Raw Milk Aged for 60 Days Cheese. Oh, uh, you hate blue cheese, right? Right? Yeah, I don't like blue cheese. Yeah. We're, we're gonna put minimal amounts. Don't say that. What are you, the blue cheese, your wife now? <laughs> your wife is Brie. <laughs> Here you go, eat this. Oof, blue cheese. I know you hate it. <laughs> oh, oh. Too nasty. I really, try, oh. I really try not to be that person. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I mean, if you like blue cheese, obviously you're still a good person. This is not our fave. This is as much as I'll do. 
Okay, fine. That's, that's enough. I can't. I that's can't fine. do more blue cheese. We have put all the cheeses in. Kristen is gonna start the construction of our grilled cheese. I'm gonna keep mixing, and Kristen will just talk you through this well, next part. Well, some people are butter people, and some people are mayonnaise people. I'm a butter person. I so. also like butter on my grilled cheese. I'm gonna butter the bread, and luckily it's already melted, so we don't have to worry about like melting the cheese. Oh yeah, because then we're just gonna pop the grilled cheese on the skillet, yeah. get toast up the bread, and hopefully make something really delicious. I'll be fair. It's like when you smell this cheese, I think it does smell really good. Yeah, I mean, does it smell like $250 worth of cheese? That's what $250 worth of cheese smells like. Half a PS5. Anyway, so I'm just gonna keep stirring the cheese while Kristen prepares the bread for our sandwich. Honestly, I think it's gonna taste good. It's a grilled cheese, you know? It will taste like something. Actually, I think we're almost ready because I'm pretty much melted down. I think most of the big chunks are gone. This is so gooey. It's like it's basically fondue. Well, I guess we did cook it in a fondue pot. We did pot. cook it in a fondue pot. I'm just gonna spread it a little bit. All right, it's time. It's time. Next time you see us, we're gonna be cooking. It's gonna go in here now. All right, here. we're cooking it. We're cooking it. Okay, <laughs> a ghost. I got back from the bathroom. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Eww. Okay, I'm gonna just flip this over. <laughs> oh! Nice. She shoots and she scores. So the cheese is already hot, so I don't have to worry about melting the cheese. I'm just mostly like toasting the bread. I'm kind of letting everything like sort of, you know, get to know each other. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. I bet you probably could get the same result not spending $250. Where's the fun in that? I know. I'm also using sourdough. Ooh. Oh, cool. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's getting nice and crispy. Actually, you know what? I didn't salt this. So this salt actually... it. All right, I think we're done. Wow, look at how beautiful this looks. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's so gorgeous. Look at this. It look is this. Gorgeous. Let me rotate this. Let me rotate this. Look at this. Oh, look at that backside. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay, let's stop using this, boys. All right, you ready to try our $250 grilled cheese? I'm really excited. Here's the thing, this looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful fucking sandwich. I know. Cheers! Cheers. I mean, it's delicious. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it, I mean, the bread and the salt are doing a lot of work. It does kind of kill all the subtleties of the cheese, as Kristen said it might. It makes you thirsty. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so silly. We should have Brie come try it. Hey, Brie. Brie. I see that you did not take my advice to use the cast iron. No, I did not. She wants me to do the skillet. I was like, I don't want to clean that. I didn't feel like cleaning the cast iron. <laughs> You're not going to clean that one. <laughs> I mean, that's, that is true. <laughs> okay, you want to try the sandwich okay, and see? let's give it a shot. It's fine. <laughs> Here's the thing. To be fair, I did kind of blow out my palate with a whole lot of jalapeno sunflower seeds. Okay, so. we don't care about your life. Come on. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, cutie. Hey, Yenny, come back, come back, come back, come back. I'm joking. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's fine. It's fine. fine. You don't need to spend $250 and try you this. You really don't. But we did. We're here to tell you, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, thanks for we'll see you guys next Friday with what another video. What kitchen experiments do you want us to do for no reason? Bye. <laughs>